UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense, figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 35. He is five inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. The Cobra! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. where this fight takes place. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Beautiful strike. Beautiful body. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him 
drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Powerful leg kick lands. Just misses with that one. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? One minute to go in the round. Now connects with the right. 45 seconds to go here in round one. That punch, no good. Twenty seconds to go. Beautiful body kick. Big punch land to the middle. Final seconds here in round one. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, those are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Checks the leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I didn't kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice right in. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice. That's a good right hand. Nice kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big head kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lou. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 20 seconds to go round two. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Right, not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, big shot land. Left hook to the head. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. your bell, head kick. Oh, straight right. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice punch lands over the top. Just a slip there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, that's a nice try. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission of confidence for battering that dude. Ten seconds to go. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, 
doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Real quick leg kick. Defensively blocks the shot. Doubles up on the jab. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those. Better check. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his pulling. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. to go. Good stick. Just missed with the left there. 30 seconds to go on the round. indicating the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. That's a big strike right there. They continue to exchange. Look at that leg. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Both fighters get up now. Liver kick. 
All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Visibly limping here. Misses again with a right punch. Big power shot there. Very tricky when he throws that body. Well placed with the kick. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, big punch lands. Tags him with the uppercut. Right under the elbow by the kick lands. What a fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.